All right, all right, all right. Just as promised, we are back. We are back. We've made it this is three weeks in a row. What the hell? Is it three weeks in a row? Yeah, man. Man, we're in a row. I think it's our best streak right yet. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> Monetize it. Yeah, we got some uh, some weird shit happening in here today. Uh, in our studio, in our palatial studios, there's some sort of a, a, a sound coming from that. Yeah, it's coming from the ventilation, HVAC. You you wouldn't believe that this is, uh, you know, we're, we're engineers, so, you know, we should probably know exactly what the hell that is, but no idea. It's just random. It's also pretty cold in here today, so That's maybe that, yeah. that is what's happening. Well, are we supposed to be uh, hit with a tropical storm, or is that now changing again? What? Did you not hear a about storm? The, the tropical Why? storm coming off the, uh, the water? Why? Yeah. Is yeah. this is this different from the dust storm that was going to hit us last I, week? I assume that this one's going to bring us like <laughs> flying sharks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flying man. sharks is the eagle's going to drop. But you, did you see that freaking big ass bird that had a carry the shark away? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, that what was great. what world are we living in now where shit like that happens? Well, both of them are competing for who's going to be the next top of the food chain. <laughs> <laughs> like humans, they had their time. They had let's their start, time. Let's start <laughs> battling it out. <laughs> they didn't know what the hell they were doing anyway, building these cars and all this dumb shit, destroying the environment. Let's just take it back over, eat them. Honestly, that was the first test run. The sharks were, that was a, a truce between eagles and sharks. So they're working together now? They're, they're sharks <laughs> trying to figure out how to hunt people via, via air. <laughs> so, so the air and sea creatures are banding together to go against the land creatures, us. Yeah. Is yep. that what's happening? Yeah. Shit. That, welcome to the next level of Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> level up. <laughs> Craziness, oh, man. man. So what the hell is going on with you you were at the uh the beach i was at the beach man this weekend how was that i tell you what i don't i don't know if maybe our ozone's getting thinner but i swear i feel like it's easier to get sunburned these days oh yeah yeah yeah. i think it, it's possibly because less pollution since you know all the the people that stayed uh, at home yeah. so those past couple weeks and months of not having as many cars on the road and not not as much smog in the air. Yeah. Not not as much blocking it out. Not as much humans outside breathing and shit like that. So I think it gave Mother Earth some time to prepare to repair herself. And 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 the byproduct of that is that now you get sunburned a lot easier. Yeah. I tell you what. <laughs> and and then there's there's a weird I don't know. I have a weird philosophy when it comes to being at the beach. Okay. What with I'm saying specifically with what's going on now with COVID. Mm-hmm. Because we I went to Ocean City, Maryland. So you know Ocean City. If OC. Right, you go right there from Delaware to Ocean City. So it's a matter of going from like 130th Street to 120 some Street or mm-hmm. whatever it is, top of the coastal highway. If it comes to Delaware, did you know that last weekend Delaware changed the rules for beaches in Delaware? That you had, you were required to wear a mask on all sidewalks and while on the beach. Okay. My question is, mm-hmm. obviously, if people are going out to the beach, their vacation, and they're probably not doing much social distancing anyway in their travels. Mm-hmm. What is having these people have heat stroke out on the beach <laughs> wearing this mask actually solving because you're already socially distanced on the beach itself you're not really piled on top of each other and all these people are going to be oh okay thank god I, I just, we were driving through delaware i had this I, i'm pointing it out because i'm watching i watched these two dudes walking down the sidewalk and you could just see the one guy breathing heavy like, <sighs> trying to breathe through his mask and I, I started laughing because the other guy got mad as shit and just, he's like, ah, I ripped it off because it was like 110 degrees. It felt like it must have been out there. And neither one of them could breathe. And these guys look like they were sweating like Shaq at the free throw line. But, but it's, all, it's all social places. I mean, social, not social. It's all community places, I guess, right? So yeah. isn't, isn't that the same here in Maryland? I guess, but at the same time, I feel like... It's almost. It always feels like Ocean City in itself. I get. Yeah, there are some permanent residents down there. Yeah. But the permanent residents aren't going to the beach and tracking back and forth if they're concerned about it. These are these vacationers mm-hmm. that are basically going to a resort. 
and everyone's now still breathing. But the rule, like the what I noticed, especially at Ocean City, the closest people got to each other wasn't on the beach; it was in the water. Like you, the currents you end up sliding, you're right next to each other. You don't have to wear a mask in the water. So it's like, then you should just keep the people from going in the water then, because that's where everyone's like bumping up oh, into yeah, each, each other. other. And it's just, I don't know. It just I think I think you have to make you have to make some sort of policy. Otherwise, it'll just continue to be out of hand. I did. I, no I, different I, than than in here. You have to make some sort of policy. And and Otherwise, that's and that's my point. I think that, I think that's where I'm going with it. Okay. Is it seems like a half cocked plan. Gotcha. So where if you are really truly concerned at this vacation spot that. You want to protect these vacationers who are going out there, spending their money at their own risk in these these areas. Then, instead of saying you have to wear your masks on the beach, say, all right, well we have all of our umbrella crews that you know you can go and rent an umbrella for the day for mm -hmm. five bucks or whatever it is. We have set up around the beach. You're not allowed to set up your own spot. These spots have been set up for you. You're allowed to be here if you can find a spot, and then you have to rent it out. And just leave it at that. There you go. You're perfect. You're, you're, I don't know. It just feels like there's, that's more structure than just, ah, oh, you got to wear a mask. Who, what is it? Lifeguard come over and say, hey, put your mask back on. Yeah. So I, th I think that's the other, that's the other thing. I think at some point, as, as those who make the rules, quote unquote, the people in charge, you can, you set the rule. And then at some point you have to trust that people will follow and people will do what they need to do to best protect themselves as well as others and and just use your head about it and be smart about it and 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 be caring about the your next neighbor. person your neighbor. right so i think that's that's pretty much all you can do you know um obviously you know you can't take the mask in order it gets wet and then <laughs> you're waterboarding yourself at that point you know speaking of um like masks getting wet I was I was reading um, for specifically cloth masks mm -hmm. since they're approved ones now, or that's what like some of the guidelines. Which I don't know if you. I think it's hilarious when I go go around. And I see some people look like they cut up a an old wife beater and it's just barely hanging over yeah. their nose, but it's blow the bottom <laughs> blowing, blowing in the wind. In the wind. <laughs> it's like I'm pro I'm protecting you from this, and then as soon as they sneeze, it just flies up in the air. <laughs> it's like you're just not just hit everybody in this room yeah. right now. Yeah, but. I was reading, um, I think it was the CDC did a study with cloth masks, and just due to the nature of a cloth mask, and it's constantly being reused, reused, not many people actually wash it and take care of it, mm -hmm. nor are anybody really trained to take it off and put it back on properly. Right. It was some crazy statistic. I don't know what it is now, but I think you guys can go ahead and fact check me on it. Fact check as usual. I think it was like a 97% increase of risk for the person wearing that mask to actually get sick if there was some sort of airborne stuff because of just the constant dampness of your own breath. And it just, it, it like was good at attracting the microbials in the air mm -hmm. and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So you fuck around and get something else other than... <laughs> yep, exactly. Other than the Rona. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> coughing all over the place. It's like, that's because you're wearing this cough mask, man. <laughs> It's it it's it's again it's interesting times we were in having to deal with all this and trying to navigate our ways through it. Yeah. Trying to figure out exactly uh what we can do, you know, yeah. as far as do we want the cloth mask, do we want the N ninety fives or you know, do we want a full on <laughs> G.I. <laughs> Joe style Cobra Commander over the face <laughs> mask. You know, so it's it's a uh, it's it's an interesting dynamic. The the one thing the one thing I can say that you know if you put some effort into it you know that's that's at least doing something whether you have a cloth mask or whether you have the old cut up white beater I saw some you can take an old sock and cut that and and do right. some weird shit with that so better hope it's not the wrong sock <laughs> the wrong <laughs> <laughs> such a clown <laughs> oh, but shit. yeah so it's um. It's 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 a weird dynamic, you know. Just trying to navigate it all. I just 
sometimes I just laugh at this. It it's just all back and forth of okay, well, yeah, man mandating it versus trying to be suggesting suggesting yeah. versus guidelines. Right. And it's like, well, who's policing it? Who's really enforcing it? It's really a matter of just how about you just teach everybody how to be kinder to your neighbor. And that's really what Well, it that's to. the thing. We are all taught that. No different than we're all taught how to freaking wash our hands, but we certainly have signs around here saying, hey, wash your hands. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So you, 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 you sit back and you look over the last, over the last uh, few months here where it's almost like going back to school where you had to teach someone how to wash their hands, how long to wash their hands. And it's kind of like, so wait, you haven't been washing your hands all your life? to know what you're supposed to do. But we already know that people don't because mm -hmm. we kind of see them yeah. <laughs> in the bathroom yeah. walk right out without washing their hands or or do the hug, get them wet. <laughs> oh, now, well, same, same principle. Now, they're, now you're just as likely like a, a cloth mask to go ahead and pick up some extra stuff because right. you some damp hands walking now around. it's in that. So it's all, <clears throat> it's a, it's all convoluted. It all goes into one another. But again, if you if you have it in yourself and you don't go against, because that is one of the biggest issues we have. So many people who don't want to go again. I don't want to wear a damn mask, and you can't make me. No. You know. So with 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 people like that, you just can't change their mind, no matter what. Well, they're probably not washing their hands either. And, so and, and it, it's, what are you gonna do? It's just, it's funny too because it's. You tell someone not to do something, they want to do it. Oh yeah. You tell someone to do something, they want to not do it, and and it's just you you got both extremes <laughs> it's of nature. It's so crazy. It is, but you got both extremes of it. It's like I don't want to wear a mask, but I want to be able to come up in your face if I want to without a mask on. Yeah. And then you got someone going, I want to wear a mask, but I want to make sure every other person in here has a mask on too, and I will yell at you until you do. It's like. At some point, you guys, you guys got to just <laughs> compromise. Compromise and let, let bygones be bygones. If they don't want to wear a mask, don't, don't, don't get six feet in front of them. Yeah. And vice versa. If you don't want to wear a mask. Which even that six feet is, is another, arbitrary. Uh, well, six feet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but now you're downwind, so let's make it yeah. 15 feet. I mean, feet. are we six feet away from each other right this second? Uh, probably I not. doubt it. Well. And then it goes back to what if you're on the that line of a beach where it goes Ocean City, Maryland, and Delaware? Ha, you gotta wear a mask. Yeah. And I'm running outside and I don't have to wear one. Yeah. It's I don't know, man. It's all <laughs> funny. It's nuts. And yeah. Right, well look, it's changing every day, isn't it? It it is changing every day. We have some places with numbers are spiking, some places that open have to now close again, and it's just you know travel is is still funky and it's and and convoluted. It's, it's so hard to figure out like looking at not like you go and try to dig into the numbers too. Like how the hell did we just spike up one hundred and fifty thousand cases in one day? And you start like I don't know if it's the same case anywhere, but I mean it, it, that kind of stuff makes me want to go. Let me start digging and digging deeper. There's like weird ways of some. Of, you notice how sometimes the cases are reported differently, mm -hmm. and it's like, well, why don't they why don't they match up? Well, some of the the test positive cases that I've noticed also include potential test positive cases. Yeah, false positives and things like that. No, if you're like say say I asymptomatically test positive, right? Mm -hmm. You would also technically get counted in for a potential test positive without even getting a test. Because we were because we were in the same room together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's like it's like well no wonder that this this one doesn't match up with this one, but then it's like how the hell do we see what's actually going on where the virus is moving? At but I think that's the whole point behind flattening the curve and doing the stay at home order and whatnot. Because again, if we were still home, we'd be doing this via Zoom and we wouldn't be next to each other. So there you have it. <laughs> case uh, closed. <laughs> open and shut the case. <laughs> Speaking of cases. Yeah. Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it popped in my head. Because but, we just talked about washing hands and... Well, the case. I'm sorry, you're getting wet. Yeah. The, the case that opened up. Mm -hmm. Say what again? 
<laughs> say, say what again? No. What what is what do you think is in that case? The the shining glow in their face. You know that has been a debate that has raged for however long the movie's been out twenty years now. Maybe is, has it been that long? I want to say, and you all can fact check us. We'll, we'll, we'll fact check after the show. But you all can fact check this. Didn't it come out in 97, maybe? 98? I'm trying to think. When did Reservoir Dogs? Because Reservoir Dogs came out before it. And I think that's what allowed um, Tarantino to even do a movie right. such as Pulp Fiction. Right. And there are some relationships in there, I believe. Travolta's character is related to one of the characters. Yeah, it was in, the same universe. Yeah, so it's all in the same universe. That was early 90s. Was Reservoir Dogs? Um, yeah, the little dancing scene. But we're, like, we're we're all over the place. But I th- I think so. We got off the point because that's what we do around here. We oh, just yeah, just er, pivot. Well, hey, sometimes <laughs> sometimes we see an exit. We gotta take it just to see where it goes. <laughs> but what do I think is in that case? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I think it was. It was Marcellus Wallace's soul. It was a soul in there? It that, was his soul. A lot of people think that, too. Yeah. That's why he had the whole band-aid on the back of the, mm-hmm. the neck thing. and I, 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 I got to go with diamonds, man. You think it was diamonds? I got to go with diamonds. Yeah. Okay. Diamonds or some other, some other precious jewel, even more um, precious than diamonds. Well, what's more precious than diamonds? There's a, there's a couple of them. I don't know what they are off the top of my head. What was Marcellus Wallace's profession? Was he just a drug dealer, gangster? What the hell? Did they ever even say? I know he wanted to, he wanted uh, Bruce Willis, who whatever the hell his character was, to fix the fight. Yeah. But but that doesn't mean he was necessarily like a drug dealer. And right. That or the other. Right. We just know he's connected. He has his own hit squad. Obviously. And he has a cleaner. He has his own cleaner. Yeah. He could be laundering money. Mm-hmm. So could maybe, be. maybe that's... He could be dealing in uncut gems. Which could have been in the case. But why did... Why did they have the case, though? Brad! Look at the big brains on Brad. Yeah. Huh. That's a great question. Yeah. What was he doing with that case... We are literally breaking down Pulp Fiction right now. What the... Or actually, a piece of Pulp Fiction. Yeah, well... <laughs> like one little small one, piece. One little partial story of where it jumps around. Like the first part, but also the last part of the movie. So, basically, like the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to look at... We might want to do a rewatch. Just a, a rewatch and then... I'm and then have to... a full discussion on... On all the nuances and people, what do you think? everything about it. What do you think's in the case, people? Yeah. Let that be a question. What's in the case in Pulp Fiction? Because this is definitely not an open and shut case. <laughs> <laughs> open and shut case, Johnson. I, that always pops my head because it's a good old Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one, of the, one of the best stand-ups and, and uh, um, what is it? Um, it's not a script show. What is a... Uh, his Dave Uns- his show. unscripted unscripted show yeah. well, his Dave, well that's a a sketch show sketch comedy that's yes sketch comedy yeah but man that his stand up his imitation of cops in his stand ups back in the day yeah so funny yeah he's great he's great as um, we pivot again <laughs> from one thing to another but think about your answers on what the hell was in the case in Pulp Fiction Send it to secondtakeD at gmail.com and we'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. And if you can prove that you're right, we'll go ahead and send you some of our memorabilia. Yeah, and try to do it without Googling and just get random asses from the interwebs. I mean, we could do that ourselves. I know. I want you to dig into your soul, dig into your heart. Wait, wait, wait. Figure it out. Are you trying to brainwash them to think that? Oh, uh, you see what I did yeah. there? <laughs> Dig it to your soul, Barn of Sells Lost. I love it. But that was a uh, fantastic film. We watched Hamilton. How was that? This weekend. Dude. Well, let me tell you. So you've heard about it, obviously. It's been obviously. out for, for five years. You know, we couldn't, no one could get tickets and, you know, it's it's always sold out and, 
and crazy. So you've always heard that it was it's great. It's something that you need to see. Seeing it is even better than advertised. See, I, I can't. I, we haven't got around to watching it yet, just for the fact that we haven't had time to sit down and actually give it our full attention. Yeah, because it's going to take you three hours. Exactly. <laughs> like maybe we could break. Is there an intermission? That you it isn't. An, it is an intermission, but it only counts down for one minute. So oh, that's not you fair. know you can you can pause it and do what you have to do. <laughs> um, but it is. This is what I'm telling you. Carve out three hours of your life this weekend okay. and watch it. If that storm is coming, we can, we're going to have reason to stay. There you go. There you go. It is amazing. The production of it being a, a essentially a stage play. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a filmed version of the stage play, so it's not produced Mm -hmm. um, from what I understand, it was filmed over a few shows. Well, so it was like, uh, I, I guess it was two two live shows and then one where they did it with an empty uh, uh, arena, an empty okay. theater, so that they could get kind of on stage and get close-ups and things like that. So it's not it's not a movie per se. It is a an actual filmed version of, of, the, Broadway the, of the show that you would see if you... Had three hundred dollars and could actually get tickets, but that's neither here nor there. I tried. I tried. I tried. Oh, for for our listeners, <laughs> explain to me what what is this about? What is what is Hamilton about? It is about Alexander Hamilton. Who's that? He's one of our founding fathers, apparently. Oh, yeah, he's responsible for the stock market. He's he started the New York Post. He started the Coast Guard. He was pretty badass, uh -huh. but one of the ones that they don't typically talk about. So, this production, uh, I guess the the guy who wrote it, who I don't know, wrote the play, all the music, and the songs is was is he a um, Len Manuel Miranda? I believe is his name. Is that French, Cuban, Puerto Rican? Puerto maybe Rican? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, like I was like, man, that, that name has so many different like. <laughs> So many different roots of where you would think like an origin, like etymology of a name break. Send all questions and comments to Hassan <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I'm like, because I don't know like where, you know, Hollywood, most of Hollywood is everything's based over there. Well, over in like the West Coast, where do most of the Broadway production writers really come from? I would imagine over on this coast. It's not something New you would see developed in Europe and then come over here? Or? I, th I think there's a few different ones. So I, so I would say, yes, there are some in Europe as well. There's now a touring company or touring production of of Hamilton now. So the one that came here last year was the was the actual touring company. It wasn't uh, the original cast. Like, And that's another weird thing If you if, when, when you watch the movie because you're going to mm -hmm. do it. Do it. And there's 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 a couple people in there that are on shows now, and it's like what the what I didn't doing there? I didn't know this dude could sing like that. What the hell's going on here? You know, and and one of the um, one of the lead women characters is on is on a Netflix show where she's kicking and fighting and punching people, and I'm like her voice is like an angel. It's like what the fuck is? It's just mind blowing that that. That there's so much talent that had I not seen this, I would never know that that this person had those abilities and had that range and could well, do that and do this. And the reason why, the reason why I even bring up like where where Broadway really comes from is you ever notice it's kind of weird. I don't want to say weird. Um, there's typical TV shows like your CW shows, like The Flash. Or some of your sci-fi shows, like say the, the show The Magicians, mm -hmm. where you have these multifaceted 
characters, or well, not even, I'm not going to call them characters, actors and actresses mm-hmm. that have such a wide range of abilities where they go, well, we, we were based in Broadway. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy the difference yeah. that like the Broadway scene ends up being more for TV. And, how, and then you look at movies, I'm like, how the hell did they find these people? I feel like they just went out to <laughs> California Beach and were like, you have a six you, pack. You right there, come. come. <laughs> you have a six pack. All right, you're going to be Thor. Yeah. Hey, you have pretty eyes. Let's get you over here. Uh, oh, well, you're Thor. <laughs> you have a younger brother? Oh, he's horrible at acting? Well, we'll put him in Hunger Games. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's low, bro. Uh, I'm sorry. That is low. I'm sorry. His, his boost of his career, though, he married my Cyrus, so. He was he was also in Star Trek, wasn't he? Wasn't he uh, the Kirk's newer, father? The newer Star Trek? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I mean, spoiler alert, really quick, even though the movie's been out for about eight years now, spoiler alert, he died in the first I didn't. Scene. I didn't realize that that's what... Uh, but I, I was just thinking, because, I don't know, it just, I feel like it's two different tracks within the same industry. It It is... It is interesting because, and and then again, it's 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 all it's all that same thing. So even when you hear that that okay, this person started, this person started on Broadway, this person started in the theater, but now they're doing big budget films and they're doing you know TV shows and things like that. You still never know what they did because you never been to the show, so you don't know that. Well, you, all that talent is there. One thing that's weird too is you, you ever notice. If a Hollywood actor or actress goes, all right, well, I did my movies. I'm going to Broadway. They vanish. (laughs) Just like that. (laughs) Gone. (laughs) Never to be seen again. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled. (laughs) (laughs) But in vice versa, they're like, well, they came from Broadway, but now they're in these movies. And they go, well, what did you do before all these movies? And they go to, it sounds like the, like in Charlie Brown, you hear the parents talking. No one cares what things they did in Broadway. <laughs> yes, I, st- I, started, I started at Toby's Dinner Theater <laughs> out in Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> and then I moved on up. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting and it's, uh, it's, it's a whole dynamic. And just to, again, just to see that production in that movie that show it's a it's a million times better than than what was even advertised what i even heard uh, in the past and the soundtrack i've been just jamming out I, man i tell you it's so good because you know it's told through hip-hop and rap and it's just fantastic so definitely Take carve three hours out of your life. Okay. You and the missus. Get Tia in there too. Three hours and one minute because we get the intermission. <laughs> well, it's I think it's two two hours and forty minute runtime. So, so we two get, hours and forty one minutes is what so we get a fifteen minute intermission. That's right. That's right. So you will not be disappointed. You can thank me later. All right. All right. That's it. That's that. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess on that note, we will get the hell on out of here. Let's get on the hell out of here and get get the Hamilton Ham, Hamilton Ham, Hamilton <laughs> What the hell? Hamilton Hamilton and then go ahead and try to say that. I'm a Hamilton fan. <laughs> <laughs> try to say Hamilton and let's get our Hamilton in. There you go. Oh, okay. There you go. Look at that. It just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, but not not Hamilton and then <laughs> That's the remix. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> hey Rick. <laughs> All right, tell everyone good night, handsome Shrek. Good night, handsome Shrek. Good night, everyone.